Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel. So in this video, let's see how to create and manage tasks in Odoo 14 project. So task can be defined as a portion or a part of work done by employee on project. So when you open project module, you can see the different projects created and the number of tasks created under a project. Okay, so before creating a project and its task, first of all, you have to go to Configuration Settings and enable some options. So here you can see uh, Subtask. So this option is used to split your task to organize your work into sub milestones. So if you want to split a task into multiple tasks, you can use this option. Then if you want, uh, if you want to allow customers on rating tasks, you can enable this option. And if you want a recurring task, that is auto generate task for regular activity, you can use this option. Then if you want to record, that is track times spent on projects and tasks, you have to enable this task logs option. Then if you want planning, you can use this option. But this one is only available on Enterprise Edition. And you can purchase this module by enabling and you can upgrade from here. Okay, so right now I'm not using it. Let me save it. Sorry. Okay, well, it's already enabled in my project module. Now let's come back to our overview that is dashboard and create a new project. This is the name for the project. Then I'm here you can enable timesheet so that you can track time spent on project and task. Then you can mark it as recurring task. Okay, then create it. So project is created and now here we can add stages for your project like new design like this way and if you want to see examples that is Odo can suggest you some examples can be an example so just click on see examples and here we can select uh, one and you can add this that is uses for your can be new so here we can, we can see four stages are added and if you want to add more uh, column or stage you can just click on this uh, this add column Okay, now let me create a new task under this project. And then you can assign to a person and click add or you can directly edit this task. So right now I'm adding the task. And before editing my task, I have to enable some option for my project. That is when you edit the project. Here under settings, I can enable this project is billable. That is invoice your time and material to customers. And you can see additional tab for invoicing. So you can invoice for different customers or unique customer. Okay, now save the project. And now you can see we can, we have an overview of the project. So inside the overview, we can see the recorded hours and profitability of the project okay now let me open my task and here you can see uh, three dots it is possible to set a cover image for your task so just click on the set cover image and you can upload and set an image for your task then it is possible to share the task so, so you can share this link with employees then here we can see option to archive the task, delete task, set color for the task and edit the task. So just click on edit and there we can see the name of the task and if you want to mark this task as important, you can mark from here and also from the uh, canvas view. And here it is possible to assign this task to a person and from here we can assign parent task we can set a deadline for this task then whether it is recurrent or not so we can enable recurrent and when you enable option recurrent you can see an additional tab so we'll be discussing about this okay then here we can add tags whether this task is a new feature or experiment like this we can add tags for your task then we can assign this project this task to a customer Okay, then here below you can provide description for the task, then timesheet, that is we can add the work done on the task. So before that we have to set a initially plan hour. 
So plan hour is 5 and here we can add the time spent on employee on the task. Here you can provide a description. Then duration, time spent by the machine learning, the employee. So when you add time, according to that, it gets the progress of the task. So this way multiple uh, time logs can be added here. And you can also split the task, that is you can add subtasks for your task. So when you save this, you can see one task in recurrence because we have enabled this option recurrent. Uh, so here, when you edit, you can see you repeat every one week Tuesday and it is done forever. So we can change from here, that is we can repeat this task daily. So if you check daily, you can see next, next occurrence is every day. And if you choose weekly, you can just disable this. And if you want to repeat it every Thursday, you can enable this option. So now, from here, you can save this. So if you click on one task in recurrence, you can see the task in reference. Okay. And if you want to add subtask, click on tab subtask and create one. So here we can edit. And now we can see one task, task is added. Okay. Now we can come back. And it is possible to move a task from new request, that is from one stage to other stage, by just dragging it to here. Okay, so you can see uh, this is our subtask. And it is also possible to mark it as ready or blocked. And we can also schedule activity for your task so multiple activities can be scheduled so you can see here for this task what activities planned okay so that's how we create a task and we have added a timesheet for this task so when you just go back and go to project overview So here we can see negative 200 uh, for that is timesheet cost. This is because we have sent two hours on the task. So depending upon the timesheet hour, timesheet cost per hour set on the employee, you can see the timesheet cost. And according to that, you can see the profitability. And it is possible to create invoice for this also. Then, Odo platform also allows its users to create tasks directly, to task operation directly from sale orders described. So, this advanced functionality will allow the Odo user to have an easy of use and creations of project tasks as per their requirement. And moreover, the platform allows the user to invoice for the task conducted in the project based on the sale order. So, let's go to sales module and create a new sale order. So I'm selecting customer here and you can set expiration date, payment terms and here you can create a new product. So I'm creating product new service and you can create and edit it. Then here we have to set the product type as, type as service and you can set sales price. And when you set a prototype as service, you can see something under sales tab. That is, 
we can set the service invoicing policy whether to create it based on timesheet or uh, an order quantity that is prepaid or manually set quantities in order okay so let's choose the first option that is on ordered quantity and let's create a task in existing project and select our project new project so a new task will be created with this name new service and we can save this okay we have to change the unit of measure to hours And from here, I can change hour to day also because day comes under same unit of measure category of hour. And if you want, if customer want this task new service to be done within one day, we can set uh, the quantity as one. Okay, then here we, we can set unit price and confirm the sale order. So when the sale order is confirmed, you can see one task is created and when you just click on that, uh, you can see uh, with the name new service, the sale order reference, you can see a task is created. And from here, if you want to add type, you can add, but the invoice will be created based on order quantity because we have set the invoicing policy as prepaid. Okay. Now it is possible to create invoice directly from here. Then you can confirm the invoice and make the payment. So customer made the payment. And when you just come back and open the project overview. Okay, so here we can see three tasks created for the project. And you can see one sale order and one related invoice. And you can see the total amount invoice is 100 and now the profitability changed to negative 100. So this is how we create task from sale order. Now let's go back to a project module. Okay, so you can see a project here. Now we can see a menu task so you can see all the tasks all the created tasks so this one is list view and you can see the title of the project uh, task then project under which the task is created uh, to whom the task is designed then the company name then the hours spent on each task then the progress in percentage then activity schedule for each task then the tags to identify the purpose of the task then the status of this task that is in which state uh, right now the task is in okay then we can also see Kanban view for the task then calendar view then we can see uh, pivot view then graph view so we can also plan activity directly from here okay then we have a reporting that is for task analysis so when you open that, you can see here we have our different project and from here we can select different measures like you can view progress, planned hours, FFT hours and we can filter this task analysis and we can view the task based on that is by unassigned task that we can view unassigned then we can filter this by assignment date, deadline, last stage updated. And this analysis can also be grouped. This report can also be grouped by project, stage, assigned. So according to that, you can see the report here. And we also have a pivot view for this task analysis report. 
So that's how we create and manage tasks in Odoo Forty. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odoo at cybrosis dot com. Thank you.